What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make this Polaroid freeze frame transition. I thought we'd get creative today, so that's what we're going to be going over in this video. Real quick before we go on with this video, I need to put you on to our brand new preset pack New Wave FX V2. New Wave FX was by far my most popular preset pack and New Wave FX V2 is even better. With over 30 plus drag and drop presets from trivia presets, transitions, the grunge, you have everything you need to get those effects that are popular right now in the underground, in music videos. All of the presets are extremely easy to use as well. All you gotta do is drag and drop onto your footage and you have a crazy result. So if that interests you, you can check the link down in the description. Now let's get right into it all right so now we got this yeet footage right here you just drop a really fire music video so let's get right into it the first step is we're gonna grab the last frame right here so it's this one so we're gonna duplicate that one doing command d and then we're gonna right click time freeze frame and then we're gonna put it over all of the layers and now as you can see it's gonna be frozen we can name that one freeze frame the one under we're gonna call it second because it's gonna be the second clip and then this one first now what we're gonna do select the rectangle tool right here or you can press on q and we're gonna select this right here let's make a square yeah something like that there we go so now as you can see when we go further on we're gonna have this square right here now we want to give it that polaroid kind of look right so let's do that right now so how we're gonna do that is by clicking right here going to layer styles and then we're gonna do stroke so now we're gonna have a stroke uh, on the edges of the frame and instead of making the position inside what's gonna make it look like a polaroid is if we do inside sorry instead of outside let's do inside and now let's make it something like that that looks pretty good we're gonna make it white matter of fact we could do it yeah a little more there we go and now to add to it we're gonna do a inner shadow as well so let's get in here and let's do distance let's increase the distance then we're gonna increase the size as well just a little it's gonna add some depth to it and now we're gonna right click right here and do drop shadow there we go and now we're gonna go to drop shadow right here and we're gonna increase the distance the size as well so now we're gonna have this right here so now we're gonna have this so far pretty cool but as you can see it's not moving we got to get it moving we want it to leave so now that we have our kind of like polaroid frame now we're going to animate it leaving out the screen let's go so on this frame right here we're just going to press y to adjust the anchor point and then we're going to press on p now let's select this and then at about there we're going to make the position just like drag it down drag it down until it's about there about right here now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna press R because we're gonna change the rotation. So let's keyframe this, click right there. And now we're gonna put the other keyframe exactly where the other position keyframe was as well. So let's just press on U. As you can see, we have all of the keyframes right here. So I'm just gonna uncheck the anchor point. We're gonna leave it like this, but we're gonna go on the other one and let's make the rotation 60. Now we can adjust this make it go a little further now we're going to select all of these and we're going to ease them now let's look at what we have so now as you can see it's really stale i'm not sold on the effect it doesn't look really nice so we're gonna play with the intensity so that it goes that it goes like uh and not like because uh, then it's really boring we want to simulate like the polaroid falling let's select the position let's go into the graph editor and then you can just copy this curve right here so really slow in the beginning and then boom it goes really fast at the end so we're going to do the same thing for the rotation so you select those you go into the graph editor and then let's drag it just like that super cool so now we're going to have this so that looks way better however as you can see there's no motion blur to it and it adds a lot when you do so let's activate that so if you don't see this right here it's probably because you need to click on this and we're gonna have the motion blur right here. So make sure to activate it right here. So now we're gonna have this. Yeah, that looks much better. And now we're gonna add a few details to really sauce it up. We're gonna add a transition so that it hits. So now very important, we're gonna add a little shake, something like to really transition off really well. So I'm gonna go in my new wave effects V2 presets. As you can see, there are 30 plus presets and there are some really fire like transitions, uh, shakes in there as well. So we're gonna use one out of these. So we're gonna do new adjustment layer. And now we're gonna make the adjustment layer go from there 
to let's say like there and all, all we got to do is drag and drop a transition i'd say my favorite one is best shake it kind of speaks for itself right that's why i named it that so let's just drag and drop it and all just like that you have this really unique shake i really love those kind of like bouncy shakes i think uh, there are a lot of like shakes that are kind of like a little too old school or outdated, but this one is so far. And there are so many other effects to use like as transitions. We can even use this swipe flash one. So now it's more like of a swipe transition looks super clean but yeah these presets are insane and you can really like use them in any context super easy to use so if you're interested in getting new wave effects v2 i'll leave the link down in the description and you can use code gus 15 that way you get 15 percent off at checkout now let's get right back in there but yeah now we have this really fire shake right here but i think what we're gonna do is we're also gonna add some blur in the background as if the camera was focused on this i think it's really gonna be a game changer for our effect because it's really gonna tell the eye like where do you want it to look at. So let's do 70 and then at the second keyframe, we're gonna put it back to zero. We're gonna press U, select them, do F5, F9 to ease. And now we're gonna do a curve that's like similar to what we did for the other animation. Let's look at what we have, fire. And I think to sauce it up some more, we're gonna add this colorful echo trail. It's gonna look super nice. Let's get it. All right, so in order to do that, we're gonna make so in order to do that what we're gonna do is pre-comp this so we're gonna do right click pre-compose and then let's call this frame make sure move all attributes into the new composition is selected and this as well that you have this box checked so this isn't gonna change anything for now but and we can duplicate it now and then just delay it by one frame we're gonna go to effects and presets select fill so now as you can see it is red we're gonna go and type u and saturation we're gonna keyframe it at the beginning and then at the end let's just turn the wheel a couple times so this is gonna change the color over this like period of time as you can see right here and now all that stuff is adding a echo effect let's do add and then number of echoes we can do something like four we can make the decay something like that let's look at what we have fire that's insane and then i'm just gonna transition into that other scene as well might as well let's do insane red hit just like that we get this super fire shake so that was it for today thank you so much for watching until the end if you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value please consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next also if you're looking to upgrade your editing skills level up your edits i have some really fire editing packs on below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace